wanted your black soap to last longer? Are you tired of your black soap melting in the shower? Well, I have found a way for you to turn this to this. Then keep watching. Hey guys, it's Jenny and welcome back to Makeup on a Budget. Today we are going to turn our solid African black soap into a liquid African black soap. And you're going to need a few items. You're going to need some hot water, a bowl, a plastic plate, a grater, a measuring cup, some plastic wrap, and a container to put your black soap in. Now I use this kind of container, as you can see it's kind of warm because it's always in the shower, but um, you could use whatever container you want and you could just keep it in the shower. I like to use this kind of container because of the uh, top, it's pointed, you can get, you don't get a lot of product coming out of the bottle so that's why I prefer this kind of bottle. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply for, let me check the price, it's $1.79 regular price and if you have a beauty club card it's $1.59. You can't see that but yeah. Um, basically the benefit of changing your solid African black soap into a liquid is that it lasts so much longer. I don't even remember how long I did my first batch, but it had to have been maybe, I would say three, three months ago, yeah, something like that. So, and a lot of times you get, when you start to cut this up into pieces, you put it in the shower, it melts really quickly, and by the time a week goes by, you realize that you've already gone through, you know, a nice piece of African black soap. So if you liquefy it, your black soap will last so much longer and it works just the same. It foams up, it lathers really well, just the same. And even though you may think that it won't foam up, it still foams up really well. And like I said before, if you take a small piece of the African black soap, it makes a really big lather. It's the same concept with the liquefied African black soap. If you take a few drops, mix it with some water, rub your hands, and you'll have a lather covering your hands. So let's get started. What you're going to do is take your soap and you could either cut it up in pieces. I'm choosing to grate it. Um, this is the grater that I use to grate my African black soap. I have one for this and one for kitchen use. So, I mean, you don't have to go out and buy a grater. You could just cut it up in small pieces. But since, as you can probably tell, I am in desperate need of black soap. So I'm just going to grate it to make the process go faster. So you take your pieces and you're going to grate the soap. I'm using these size holes right here and what it looks like when you grate the soap and I'm gonna go ahead and grate both of these pieces and I'll be right back okay so I've grated both pieces of my black soap and what I'm gonna do now is pour the um, one cup of hot water into the measuring cup and then pour it into So I'm just going to go ahead and put my soap in here. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the hot water into my measuring cup. I'm gonna start off with one cup and then see uh, how much water I might need. Um, there isn't an exact amount of the water that you need because it all depends on how much soap you have. So I'm just gonna start out with one cup. You can add as much or as little water as you like, whatever you like, it's up to you. It's one cup. Second cup. This is my second cup. And I'm going to go ahead and stir the soap. I think two cups is enough for the amount that I had, so I'm not going to add any more water. So I'm just going to stir it until I get most of it dissolved. And then I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit overnight. And then when it's all nice and melted down, I'm going to pour it into my container and use it. Okay, so as you can see, most of it has melted, and now I'm just going to take a piece of plastic wrap. So I'm just going to let this sit overnight and let all that heat melt in the rest of the soap. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, you guys. So as you can see, I let the soap sit overnight and it's completely melted. So what I'm going to do is just take my spoon and stir it. Then I'm going to pour it into my container, and it may be too much, so I also have another container to put it in, just in case. Make sure if you buy this kind of container that you cut the tip off, okay? So I'm going to go do that. Now that I've cut the tip off, I'm going to go ahead and pour the remainder in here.
as you can see, I have this much left and I've already filled up two of these bottles. So you don't need a lot of soap and you also don't need a lot of water. And you can see how much product you can get. So with this remainder, I'm just going to put this in another bottle. And now I'm going to show you how well this really works. So I have my soap here. I'm just going to shake it. Take my water. Wet my hands. Open the container. Squirt out a little bit. See? Now just rub your hands together. And there's the lather. Just from that little drop. Just a few drops. And this is how much you get. So it really doesn't take a lot of water. And it doesn't take a lot of black soap either. I just used two small little pieces. And look how much this is going to last me. Probably about five to six months. Tutorial. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to liquefy your African black soap. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful, but on a budget. Bye.